Good Monday, everyone. Looking at our weather map for today, lots of unsettled weather across the southeast. Strong to severe thunderstorms hugging the Gulf Coast up into southern Alabama and southern Georgia. All modes of severe weather are possible there yet again today. The flash flood risk for western North Carolina and the upset of South Carolina will stay just to our east. For us, it's scattered showers and thunderstorms and beneficial rainfall. Look at our five-day forecast, 90% chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms today, 90% chance again tomorrow. And that's pretty much the story for the week. We dropped down to 70% chances for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, overnight chances around 50-50. So showers and thunderstorms looking likely for, the, for this whole week. Some of the rainfall could be a little heavy at times with some of the stronger storms. Some of the storms could contain gusty winds, cloud to ground, lightning, you know the drill. Widespread severe weather is not expected this week, so we're getting off a lot luckier than folks in the Deep South did last week. Last week, they dealt with this system, and they had severe weather every day of the week last week, and they're still dealing with severe weather. But for us, it's a little bit of a different situation, and so we're more on the scattered showers and thunderstorm variety type with no widespread severe weather looking likely. Looking at the tropics, speaking of severe weather, we now may have two named systems by the end of this week. So things are getting pretty active, both looking like they're aiming for the Caribbean. So this could be an interesting situation by the end of this week. Remember, things in the tropics move slow. So if you have a beach vacation plans for, for this week, if you're on the Gulf Coast, you're watching out for all these showers and thunderstorms. It's already down there. But if you're going in a week or so, then you'll need to be keeping an eye on the tropics. On this day in 1835, a tornado tore through the center of New Brunswick, New Jersey, killing five people and scattering debris as far as Manhattan Island. And this tornado provided the first opportunity for scientists to study firsthand the track of such a storm. So 1835, and we've been studying them ever since. You folks have a wonderful Monday. Keep looking up. For more weather information, just go on to meteorologistmark.com.